And it's Arsenal 2, Bayern Munich 2. First leg of the quarterfinals of the Champions League 2023-2024 season. And we just witnessed a spectacle of a match. But I have to say, UEFA, you are a disgrace. You are a shit. The all of the UEFA, I think you just made a blunder today by not giving that 95 minutes penalty for Arsenal. That is the most blunted penalty I've ever seen this whole year. And you all actively decide not to give that penalty in the dying minute. I think you bottled it and you are a disgrace. You are a cheat. And to the referee from Sweden, you are a disgrace and you are a shit. So back to the game. Arsenal played at a 2-2 draw with Bayern Munich in the first leg of the quarterfinal. The game was very interesting game. I really enjoyed the game from the attacking aspect of the game. But defensively, Arsenal, we are shaking today. I've never seen Arsenal uh, this... Uh, been rattled, the, the, the center pairing of uh, Saliba and Gabriel been rattled and uh, made in, making so so many errors like they did today. And one of their poor game, I would say, I don't know if it's the effect of Harry Kane who came again to score against Arsenal, making, uh, making it 15 goals against Arsenal, which he have scored. And I think the seventh goal at the Emirates they're making in the ISL goal scorer for an away uh, player to have scored in the Emirates. So, the Arsenal players uh, took the Arsenal, Arsenal took the lead through Bukayo Saka in the first half, and Arsenal gave a sloppy go away through the mistake of David Raya and uh, uh, coupled with uh, uh, Gabriel Magalhaes and uh, Jacob Kivio. The three of them made an error, and uh, what's his name? Gnabry, the former Arsenal youth player, he collided before he came uh, slotting on a penalty, and uh, Gabriel Jesus teaming up with uh, Leandro Tosa to equal the game. Arsenal had a chance of winning the game through from the penalty spot but the referee in today's game decided not to blow the penalty and uh, just go and watch the replay and you see this is one of the most blunted penalty you can ever see in 2024 but we keep our fingers crossed second leg is to come uh players who did well today the likes of Bukayo Saka, Martin Odegaard I have to give a shout out to Martin Odegaard and the sub which came in uh Leandro Trossard and Gabriel Issues. Thomas Party came in and Thomas Party was so woeful today I've never seen Thomas Party this so bad I think the injury has really tell on Thomas Party and uh, his football is really not up to standard at the moment and uh I'm really really disappointed with Thomas Party, Jacob Kivio I'm disappointed with Jacob Kivio and my guy Martinelli today was I don't want to swear. I don't want to swear. So let's just let's just take it at that. You understand what I mean? But was in his day. Uh David Raya to made a blunder for the penalty. I don't know why he went so quick for the penalty of Hurricane. Went so early. And uh Hurricane just slot the ball in the opposite direction, making it 2-1 for Bayern Munich. Arsenal did did fight in the second half to uh, make it 2-2 and they will be feeling pain to have not been given that uh, 95 minutes penalty by the Swedish referee today so it's hard to play in the second leg Arsenal will be going there on the 17th uh, of April that's two days after my birthday they will be playing the second leg at the Allianz Arena where uh, Bayern Munich will be hoping and praying that they don't meet a very uh, painful Arsenal because if they do meet the painful Arsenal I promise you they are going to lose that game at the Irons Arena. So Arsenal will play Aston Villa this week, what is on Sunday, uh, 5 o'clock. So the return of the Premier League will be uh, commencing at the end of this week. Uh, Manchester City, on the other hand, played at a 3-3 draw with Madrid. It was a very, very uh, uh, contested encounter uh, between the two team giants of uh, the Euro Real Madrid came from behind in that game after going the we go down and going, taking the lead, and went a game behind before equalizing in that game. So the game ended in a 3-3 draw. So next week, the second leg will take place at uh, the Etihad Stadium. So we we'll see Manchester City is going to take on Real Madrid, and uh, Bayern Munich will take on Arsenal in the second game. Also, before I end this video, I really want to big up the coach today, Mikel Ateta. Yes, Mikel Ateta's sub in today's game was really, really magnificent, and uh, it really changed the game for Arsenal because it was if was not if not for his uh, substitute which he made, bringing on Zinchenko to control the game for Arsenal and taking off uh, Gabriel Martinelli and uh, um, Jorginho and bringing up uh, Jesus and uh, Leandro Trust. I don't think Arsenal would have. Uh, had uh, anything to play for in the second leg but kudos to all the players kudos uh, for their fighting spirit 
and kudos to Declan Rice also for a fine game which he played today and uh, I'm happy none of them uh, took a yellow card in this game in and uh, um, Kai Havard were on a yellow card and uh, risk suspension in the second leg so these are some of the few points from the game and also uh, uh, Jonathan Davis will not be playing the second leg as he was booked in the first half and we're missing the second leg at the Alliance Arena. So we're hoping and seeing what is going to happen in the second leg on the 17th. We'll be here to give you the breakdown how the match uh, went. So till I see you, say subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed and put it on your comment, put it on the comment section. Do you think Arsenal were robbed in today's encounter or do you think uh, it was the right call from the referee? Let me know in the comment section. So till I see you, I say peace out.